everyone. Um, I want to talk about what it's like to be an artist, and I call this on the edge, because I feel that artists are on the edge of society, on the peripheral, on the border. Uh, I was brought up actually by the sea in Donegal. Then I moved, I was moved to Strabane, so the last photograph showed me being ready for uh, what, what was about to happen in the north of Ireland. And um, most of my work essentially is about borders, about the edges, about land, about the sea. I've also made sculpture. This was at the Irish Museum of uh, Modern Art uh, about five or six years ago. And uh, also some of the newer work, I've been living part of the time in Portugal. So now I'm painting yellows, reds, uh, colors that have developed out of, out of that atmosphere. And uh, <clears throat> in terms of public work, this was a Cork Street where I was working with steel. And this is where maybe science meets um, art because it, it was a very mathematical um, cutting and decision making and quite abstract in that sense. Also, I'm very fond of photography. And um, in a small town in Portugal, I've been photographing doors and doorways uh, openings, again, openings like borders, back to that sense of edge, which has crept somehow um, slowly into the work. And the photographs, I believe, um, enrich me, give me something to, to feed off. Also, the other attitude in the work would be the, I talked about the land, the horizon, I'm also interested in um, the, the stars, the sky, how things are interconnected in a, in a very random fashion, in, in the sense that uh, it's a random act to call the, the plow the plow. Uh, someone just decided to draw lines around the stars and, and create this uh, situation and call it something else. And in the, in the paintings, I'm trying to reconnect semi-geometric forms, but yet they're not geometric. It's a very random, uh, more like a very arbitrary type of geometry. Again, this is another public piece um, in City Key. It's one of the larger works I made in the last few years. It incorporates wood, steel, and um, this is one of the visitors I had in my studio recently. It was, um, you probably remember the cow parade. It was a charity gig in Dublin. There were about 30 artists invited. Unfortunately, some, some of the pieces were vandalized. Uh, <clears throat> some other visitors to the studio. And essentially, this was, there's a small museum in Belgium which is called Shoes or No Shoes. And they have a collection of artist shoes, artists from all over the world. So my presentation were the, the shoes that were you know, virtually torn apart by, by the dogs. And again, I like to work in, in multimedia. You know, here's steel, small boxes. They're actually very tiny. So the idea of scale is immense, immensely important to me as well. This is from the Alhambra, and a lot of my work was greatly influenced by, um, by Islamic art, which is decorative, non-figurative, and it's got that sense of mathematics, that sense of science about it, and calm also, because it, it was you know, a lot to do with the, the religion of uh, Islam. So to finish off, there's a couple of paintings here. You can almost see the stars in this painting. And it's a fairly deep and dark painting, um, almost like a night or dawn. And I'd like to finish on a, on a very bright note. This is called Sun God. And it's a painting I made very recently. And it's exactly this size, which is 176 
which is Drubian Man. Thank you very much. Yeah.